Well, hello and welcome back to my channel for another day talking makeup, beauty, all the fun stuff. Today we are talking about brands I want to try, brands I am interested in, and also a couple brands that I have no interest in whatsoever. If that interests you, well then, let's go. All right, this is gonna be another video in my October series. And if you don't know what that's about, that is because October is my birthday month. And for my birthday, I am pushing really, really hard to get out a lot of good, fun, interesting content for you with a goal of building this community and also hitting hopefully 100 subscribers by the end of October. Can you help me out with that? If you can, hit that subscribe button and let's go. Brands, first we're gonna do brands that I want to try. This is not gonna be in any order. I'm just gonna tell you why I feel like I might wanna try them. And if you watch my wish list video, you might be surprised that this is not going to completely correlate to that. So the first brand we're gonna talk about is actually Charlotte Tilbury. And Charlotte Tilbury is a brand that I have wanted to try for years and years and years. She just has been. Um, I don't exactly know why because I don't feel like there's anything in particular that, she, that is on that brand that is so unique but I hear the formulas in all of the different things are beautiful. And I just feel like it is one of those brands that's going to be a staple for life, kind of like Bare Minerals and Estee Lauder. I feel like it's gonna, it's gonna be there for a, a while, right? And so I kind of want to be in that. I'm looking right now on my phone, I'm pulling up the website to kind of go through a couple of the things and see if I was to try out something from this brand, what it would be. And honestly, I think it would be the bronzers and the blushes. But then the things that initially caught my eye were the lip liner and lipstick combination. Um, I've seen it everywhere. I see it in so many different videos, specifically the Pillow Talk lipstick and I feel like that's something I would love to give a try. Do I think that that colors? Do I think that that would look great on me? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I feel like that formula would work really well on me. I feel like I would really like it, but they're a little expensive. I'm looking at the site and they're $35. And honestly, makes sense for this level of brand but not for my purchases. And I think that's why this brand has been a long time on the list of eventually I will try it. But I think if I was to go out and purchase something from this brand, it would be specifically the lipstick and lip liner combo, and then maybe the bronzer or blush. But anyway, have you tried Charlotte Tilbury before? What is your favorite project product? Okay, the next brand on this list is Lunar Beauty. I have been loving the recent, the last, let's say, two launches have really caught me at my eye. The launches before that, I've liked, but I've not like liked enough to be like, you're a top brand, I must try eventually. But the last couple launches have been <laughs> really hard to not buy from. So I'm not a big setting powder person, but the Lunar Versal Setting Powder looks beautiful. It, it, it comes with a little powder uh, sponge, not a sponge, I don't know what it's called, but it just looks beautiful and it really does catch my eye. It's on the expensive side, but I mean, if it works and if it's good, maybe it's worth it, I don't know but that would probably not be the first thing I would buy from the brand. I would buy one of the palettes, but I don't know which one. So I'm looking through 
a lot of the palettes. I'm, I love the Eternal Eclipse. The colors on that are stunning. Full fantasy, beautiful, much more neutral looking. Um, I just don't know. It's just all so beautiful. I don't know. But I would probably pick one of the palettes from Lunar Beauty. And then the lip stuff, right? They did lip stuff. I thought there was lips. Maybe that was with somebody else. No? No, there's lipsticks. Yes. There's not that many lipsticks, but the latest lipstick, the embossing on the lip product looks beautiful. And, and then the little uh, moon there, that detail is so cool. You click that and it pops a lid off. Just such a detail that just brought it um, up a couple levels. And honestly, those lipsticks are only $20. And so I feel like if I was to place an order on Lunar Beauty's website, I'd probably buy a couple of those. Next up is Odin's Eye. And yes, that one correlates to something on my wish list from my video the other day. If you haven't seen that, I will link it above and below. The palettes from Odin's Eye look beautiful, but their most recent palettes that are Halloween theme, those two look so fun. So, so fun. And I've heard that their formulas are really nice to work with and really pigmented. And so that's another reason why it kind of it calls my name a little bit. The next brand that I am super interested in is Nomad Cosmetics. And that also has an item on my wish list. In fact, it is my number one. And this is a brand that I have, again, watched for a while and have wanted something from them for a while. And this palette is going to be the thing. The Ghost Town USA palette. Beautiful. If you've used this brand before, what has been your favorite palette so far? Let me know. Then Sydney Grace. Sydney Grace is somebody for the eyeshadows that I have been hearing specifically from a couple different YouTubers that I follow that this formula is top notch, wonderful to work with. And it's not really a, a brand that I feel is talked about by that many, let's say younger YouTubers. I feel like it's more mature youtubers i don't know if there's a better way to say that and i consider myself a little bit in the mature age-wise uh category and so to have a brand that's talked about with such joy when it comes to eyeshadows because of their quality and how they work on the more mature skin that's what is drawing me towards them. Now, I don't really foresee me going out and actually buying something from them very, very soon here, just because they're not something that I feel like is, is very well known or is very easy to buy. I feel like it's only online. I don't know, I have never seen it anywhere in the store, but it is a brand that I'm very interested in. The last brand I'm going to talk about that I am very interested in is Game Beauty. And guys, they just released five new palettes to go with their, I believe their highlighter thing, uh, their highlighters that they came out with. Sorry about that. My uh, battery was dying. So here we go. Game Beauty. I pulled up the website again to just take a look. They, so they just released the Elemental Blast palettes. They have five different palettes that correlate with their five different highlighters and they look so fun. But even before that, all of their palettes look so fun. Now I am not a, I play games, but I don't know Phantom Thieves. So that one, like the palette looked really nice, but I don't have a connection to the theme of it. But all of the other palettes, are much more um, like there's an adventure palette, victory palette, like they all just look so fun. The colors look beautiful, um, especially 
in their Elemental Blast palette bundle. Like that's their five newest ones. They've got a purple one, they've got a blue one, they've got a green one. Uh, looks like a reddish orange and then like a yellow and browns. And they just look so pretty. The palettes look beautiful, the shades look beautiful. I've seen only a, one or two videos, one video, maybe two videos on it and it just looks beautiful. So those are on my list as well to eventually try. Okay, now really quickly, let's talk just a few brands that really I have no interest in and it's kind of sad. So the first one is going to be Neutrogena. I don't feel like this brand has been like a huge brand, but I mean, they've been pretty big in the drugstore name for a while. They've been around for a while and I feel like they put out quality products. I do, but I don't Feel like they're putting out anything that is drawing me in. I don't see them talked about outside of skincare stuff. I don't, I don't know. I don't really see the hype being there. I don't know that I've seen it being there for a long time. And I just kind of wonder if maybe they should focus on the skincare stuff and if that's the path that they're going to go down or if they're going to have a comeback in the makeup world or if they really even were all that big. I mean, I like some of their older lip products, but there's nothing that's like exciting about that brand to me. I don't know. That's just me. Do you agree? Another brand that I just don't feel the excitement for, but I did once, is actually e.l.f. Cosmetics. Now, don't get me wrong. I do keep buying their items. I do every once in a while get like a little bit like, oh, that looks fun. But I feel like their prices keep going up, but their quality is either staying the same, which was good quality to start with, but in some cases it's going down and their packaging is not getting better. It's just not, and you expected there, the packaging level for those lower price points. Now that their price points are going higher and higher, I don't feel like we're getting more quality. So I kind of have lost a lot of interest in that brand. And I hope that they come back because they really did a lot for the makeup drugstore community. Okay, they really did. They had great products at great price points, but I don't feel like their product quality is worth the higher price points that they're trying to do now. With that said, I did finally get their newer uh, grippy primer and it's okay. It's very grippy, very sticky, um, but it's not, I don't love it. I don't love it. And I used to love e.l.f. cosmetics. I don't love them anymore. They are not bringing the excitement that they once did. Do you feel the same way? Let me know in the comments below. And the last brand I'm going to talk about today is another, I believe it would be considered a drugstore, uh, Alme Cosmetics. Oh gosh. No. No, I have talked to a couple people in my personal life who do still use the foundation, I believe it was, and swear by the foundation. But I have not heard them talked about in so long. I actually forgot they existed. I completely forgot about them until somebody in my personal life was like, yeah, that's the only foundation I use. And then I asked them, okay, does our foundation excite you? And she was like, I mean, it's foundation. Is it supposed to excite me? And that's where I realized it's not an exciting brand. I wonder if they're really going to stick around much. I don't know. Maybe they just need a comeback. Maybe they do because I do believe that they had good quality stuff. But again, I don't think they really kept up the hype. And like in my town, I mean, we don't have great selections in my town for different drugstore makeups, but the little tiny on my section we do have in, I want to say it's Walmart. 
it's literally this wide and it's only ever half full okay it's not it's nothing in fact i don't know where they're normally sold like i don't know if it's cvs or walgreens but neither of my cvs or walgreens has them so if they're also there it's not in my town um i feel like this video is kind of a little bit everywhere i hope it kind of comes together in editing and makes sense if you like any of these brands i talked about let me know in the comments below and i will see you in a video very soon bye